Hey YouTube, I was given a great idea by one of you watchers. One of you guys sent me an email showing me this picture of some Aroma Bee fresheners that you liked and you're like, please make a video showing how to make this. And I thought it was a great idea. This is how they're gonna look. It's just a regular Aroma Bee freshener and you can put any cap or lid or whatever of your choice in the center. You can use any shape you want. They are super, super easy to make and they're super cute. The back is smooth like that. But look how cute that is. I made this one for my son-in-law. This is his drink of choice. But anyway, I'm going to show you real quick how to make it. Super easy. Follow along. This is not a beginner video. I do have a beginner video where I show in great detail how to make these. This one's going to assume that you've watched that first one already. But even if you haven't, you can probably pick them pretty quick. But I'll also link below in the description block. In the description block. A link to that first video showing you how to make these super cute guys so let's go let's get right to it all right the first thing you want to do is get your cookie mold and get you a flat top nail and put it right at the top where you want your hole to be then take your pre-scented beads and fill it up about three-quarters of the way full not completely to the top but you want it thick enough to where you get a good scent So fill your cookie mold just like you would in the previous two videos that I did. Put your roof and nail right at the top for your string. Right there. And then take whatever kind of lid you want. I'm making this one for my future son-in-law. And just put it right where you want it. I want mine kind of right in the middle. I'm going to push it down just a little. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. I'm going to push it down just a little to where it's kind of embedded. To where the little beads will melt around it. But not over the top of it. Okay. Then put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 5 to 7 minutes. Everybody's oven is a little different. Mine takes the full 7. But start yours at 5 and check it. I'll show you what it should look like whenever it's time to come out. Okay, this has been in for about six minutes. And if you look, the middle here is it doesn't really look wet yet. See how the edges are a darker color and it looks wet? So it still needs to go in for about another minute. All right, now it has been in there for seven minutes. And if you see, it's all a dark blue and it all looks wet and sticky. Like if I touch this, it's real sticky. So now what you want to do is you want to let it completely cool off. If you're having problems with your mold sticking to the pan, it's probably because you didn't let it cool off completely before you tried to remove it. So let it sit here and cool off for a good 10-15 minutes. Whenever it turns to the, back to the original color, like this was the original color of these beads, when it turns back to this original color, that's when you know it's completely cool. And then it should pop off the pan real easily. So I'm going to let it sit here and cool, and then I'll show you how to get it off. All right, it's completely cooled off now. And it just lifted right off the pan. And give it a little push, and it comes right out of the mold. Like I said, if you're having problems with your sticking, you probably aren't letting it cool long enough. So give it enough time to cool, and you won't have any problems getting it off your pan. Now to get your nail out, just give it a little push. Was actually a little stuck pretty good there you go and that's your hole that you'll use to put your string through so now take your string put it straight through your hole and it's ready to hang up I'm just gonna trim off the little peak in on the edge to make sure I have a nice smooth edge if you've never watched one of my videos before on this I have a video that goes into a lot more detail on how to make these. This is a video that I'm hoping you've watched after you've watched that first one. 
but if you haven't seen the first one and you need some more details, I will put a link to the first video below. But there we go. And look, that the back of it, you won't see your lid that you put in there. It's This is all smooth, but it's stuck in there good. It's not coming up. All right, you guys, so that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button below. And right next to that subscribe button, you'll see a little bell. If you click on that bell, it will send you a notification letting you know every time I upload a new video of all these cute little things. Like I said, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Comment with any questions. Send me an email. I don't mind. I get lots of them, and I'm happy to answer them and help. If you have another good idea of a way for me to make these aroma beads cuter, funner, let me know.